everyone, Panic Pixie here, and today I have a special guest, my sister, Singing She, and our other special guest is Rosa Parks. Say hi, Rosa. Okay, come closer, Rosa. <laughs> Thank you. So, here she is. I think she looks just like her. Her glasses are a little bit askew on my particular doll and it looks like she has gloves we'll see that later here's the box civil rights activist inspiring women series i love these dolls oh there's a picture of her right there see doesn't that look like her i think it looks like her yeah so here's the back and here's some information about her you can pause the video and read it if you would like, because I'm not going to read it too. Sorry. Okay, so she's in a bus, which she's kind mm -hmm. of known for. Not that that sounded weird. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let's open her up. Yeah, her act of protest took place on a bus. Yes, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here she is out of the box. And she has these kind of red flowers when... Oh, yeah. And then here's her certificate of authenticity. It's a black label series. She was hard to find. She came out the same time as Sally Ride, but Sally Ride I found in Target. I couldn't find Rosa Parks and Target. I had to order her from Amazon. I would imagine this doll is very popular. Yeah. And hard to get a hold of. She is. She sold out on Barbie Collector. I think she's back in stock now, but I'm not sure. But like everybody wants this doll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for good reason. Yeah. Because these other inspiring women dolls, they all did amazing things, but like who changed society more than Rosa yeah. Parks out of these dolls. I don't know about any of them. Yeah. And you don't... I ha, I feel like out of all of them, the one you're going to learn about in school is Rosa Parks. Yeah. Even though you should learn about should. all yeah, of them. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Out of the box, she has a handbag. Um, oh, and her gloves are short she actually has more articulation than I thought okay her her knees bend and her feet do not look at her shoes I love them aren't those great little lace-up boots yeah and then and then her coat is kind of Okay, so there's her dress underneath. Very authentic, very 50s. Mm -hmm. And she has articulation also at the hip and shoulder, elbow, wrist, neck. And check out her hat. It is plastic, it has a little daisy on it. And she has a nice. little ponytail and these silver glasses. Let's see if we can't. Oh, perfect. Yeah, the glasses <laughs> are very 50s. Yes, I love them. Mm -hmm. And you saw her little bag. bag. Uh, let's see if we can't get. Let's check out underneath her coat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cute. The gloves with the dress, like we saw. In, not we, but <laughs> like they did in the 50s. Yeah. Okay, this is being... Come on, plastic thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you see the Velcro on the dress. If this was made in the 50s, it would be snaps. But of course, Barbie didn't come out until like, what, 59? Okay, and then her, mm -hmm. her coat has a little tag. Her hair's a little flat and back, but yeah, from being in the box, yeah, little 
TLC for her hair. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sticking up. fit back. Yeah. I like though that her hair has this curl in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it kind of curls underneath. A bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then she has kind of stenciled on a... Oh yeah, like flyovers. Yeah. Oh yeah, because if we see her picture in real life, is that going to show up? Uh, there it is. <laughs> it's hard, even in real life, it's hard to see the detail in the photograph. But yeah. It does look like she has... It looks like her dress isn't totally exact. Her yeah, dress is more plaid. Like, yeah. Yeah. And the coat probably had a little more structure to it. Like. Yeah. This one's almost tailored. like a robe or something. It's loose. <laughs> yeah, and there's no buttons. Yeah, no buttons. It was to... kind of clasped together with these plastic doohickeys. Yeah. Oh, I hate these. <laughs> They're always snagging my... Oh, and there's a uh, faux, faux, pocket. faux pocket on both sides. On one in the back. Oh, and then, uh, look at that. Oh. I've seen this before on dolls, what? but... Is it supposed to look like she has hose on no, the bottom half? No, I very much doubt it. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen this before on dolls on um, a fashionista Ken. Mm -hmm. His arm was like this. You can see the picture on my Instagram. But I've never seen it on anything above a pink label doll, so that's Is kind that of... Is that exactly where her dress hits? No, oh, it it's lower. her dress. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that is not great. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's put her on our stand. And that is Rosa Parks. I like to pretend that my uh, inspiring women dolls are going to teach high school so she could teach our history class. Yeah. Or is there like a civil rights class? <laughs> Maybe English. <Should> yeah. <laughs> American history. Yeah. There we go. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below what you think. Um, who's your favorite inspiring woman so far that they've done? And maybe who they should make a doll for. Yes. That inspires you. Yeah. Let us know. And we'll see you very shortly because we're about to debox Amelia Earhart. Yeah. Check out that <laughs> video too. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you really like it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.